carry supporters freaked out after seeing a Trump supporter with a flag. They didn't like that. I believe you saw the debate. A lot of things happened, which on this video, I'm going to show you some clips. I was extremely embarrassed to see this viral moment after the debate. You're the college Democrats. You're the, you're the president of the college Democrats. Yep. That's how, how you feeling about the enthusiasm? Your name and, and how you feeling? My name is Rose, and I'm feeling great. This is going to be a great debate. Oh, sorry, I touched there. Um, I'm so enthusiastic. Walls is going to do so well. All right, I guess we're gonna have to we're gonna we're gonna have to wait and see. I really appreciate talking to you guys, Rachel. They got a few moments later. What do you think your strongest moment was tonight? Oh, just uh, I think it was a good debate. We both got to see a contrast, um, and I think the ending uh, sums it up. The democracy issues important. Thank you. Governor, you said you become friends with school shooters during the debate. Can you clarify what you meant on that? Can you clarify what you meant when you said you'd be friends with school shooters? It's pretty clear. Uh, Vance outclassed Walls tonight. I mean, I was watching this, and all I could think of was, man, Walls is so in over his head. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine this guy sitting in the White House Situation Room with that facial expression that's like 50% sheer terror and 50% extreme bafflement? I mean, it was amazing, the split-screen difference between a competent Vance and a totally in over his head Walls. The answer on why he lied about his trips to China and the Tiananmen Square thing was probably the worst VP debate meltdown since Stockdale in 92. You know, who am I and why am I here? It was two and a half minutes of absolute terrible. For Vance, night of redemption, all the political media has told us that Vance was a terrible pick and Walls was going to bring in all these voters. That charade is now over. Walls does not belong at this level of American politics. Vance does. Final verdict, Tim Walls wandered into the wrong bar tonight. It's the audacity. I, 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 yeah. I agree with you that we're in year nine and no one knows how to cover the audacity. Mm -hmm. The audacity is it, is it someone should have said, stop it, stop, stop. <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? And they should have, they should have dropped that F-bomb, right? I mean, they should have just, we, this is a debate. This may be the only chance people have. To yes, it was a bad night for Democrat. Even DNC accepted that Tim Walls didn't perform well at the debate. When you take a look at the mainstream media, how they are reacting to this, they cannot hide it. They clearly saw that Jenna Avant dominated this guy like never before. It was actually a bad night for Democrat. If you ask this guy to debate Jenna Evans again, he will never accept. A lot of these people are now blaming the fact that he's never there for interviews. They are hiding themselves somewhere recent. He cannot perform well. I've seen a lot of videos. I want us to react, share thought, partake to it. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. It will do you no harm if you share this video. I'll give you two minutes. Well, first of all, you're going to hear a lot from Tim Walz this evening, and you just heard it in the answer. A lot of what Kamala Harris proposes to do, and some of it, I'll be honest with you, it even sounds pretty good. Here's what you won't hear, is that Kamala Harris has already done it because she's been the vice president for three and a half years. She had the opportunity to enact all of these great policies. And what she's actually done instead is drive the cost of food higher by 25 percent, drive the cost of housing higher by about 60 percent, open the American southern border and make middle class life unaffordable for a large number of Americans. If Kamala Harris has such great plans for how to address middle class problems, then she ought to do them now. Not when asking for a promotion, but in the job the American people gave her three and a half years ago. First of all, uh, Tim just said something that I agree with. We don't want to blame immigrants for higher housing prices, but we do want to blame Kamala Harris for letting in millions of illegal aliens into this Pass country, bill. which does drive up costs, Tim. 25 million illegal aliens competing with Americans for scarce homes is one of the most significant drivers of home prices in the country. It's why we have massive increases in home prices that have happened right alongside massive increases in illegal alien, uh, alien populations under Kamala Harris's leadership. Yes, nobody needs to tell you anything. Even a body language can clearly see this. Tim Wall was not there. The guy was panicking. His fashion looks, how he reacted to the whole debate when Geneva was talking. Mm. We saw what happened recently, Iran attacking Israel. You know, 
answering questions, foreign policies was the center. He could not really do anything at that point. So people see coming out to tell me that oh Tim was win. He won. He you know when I see MMBC trying to say this, it is ridiculous. This body language saw something which I don't know if you've seen it. First take a look at this. Pose a preemptive strike by Israel on Iran. You have two minutes. Well thank you, and thank you for those joining at home tonight. Uh, let's keep in mind where this started. October seventh, Hamas terrorists uh, massacred over 1,400 Israelis and took prisoners. Uh, Iran, or I, uh, Israel's ability to be able to defend itself is absolutely fundamental. What we've seen out of Vice President Harris is we've seen steady leadership. We've seen a calmness that is able to be able to draw on the coalitions to bring them together. Understanding that our allies matter. When our allies see Donald Trump turn towards Vladimir Putin, turn towards uh, North Korea. This Governor Waltz just accused Donald Trump of being an agent of chaos. Donald Trump actually delivered stability in the world, and he did it by establishing effective deterrence. People were afraid of stepping out of line. Iran, which launched this attack, has received over $100 billion in unfrozen assets thanks to the Kamala Harris administration. What do they use that money for? They use it to buy weapons that they're now launching against our allies, and God forbid, potentially launching against the United States as well. Walls, what we're seeing here, we're seeing this begins panic almost because he doesn't know what to say. See how he backs up there uh -huh. and he's thinking this is called the grief muscle right in that area there. That's oh, whoops, that's a horseshoe style. Uh, when your forehead comes together, an upside down horseshoe, that's the grief muscle. He's not sure. Square right there right it is. Right you. there. Perfect. Uh -huh. Perfect. So that, when you say grief muscle, what are you saying that he's saying to himself right now? He's worried. He's a little panicked and he doesn't know what he doesn't know what's going to happen. He, he's got the idea of what he wants to say. But he doesn't know exactly what he's. Yes, I believe you some this body language as bad. He was confused. You know, he had a lot of things to say. He could not express himself. He was just there. Mm. And the blame is going into the fact that they don't allow him to cut out interviews. Jimmy Evans, on the other hand, is outspoken. He's courageous. A lot of people had doubt on Jimmy Evans. As I'm telling you now, they have changed their minds. Yes, when you look at his closing remarks here, Jimmy Evans' closing statement honestly gives me goosebumps. We need change. We need a new direction. We need a president who has already done the ones before and did it where Please vote for Trump, everyone, including myself. Finally, realize tonight why Trump picked him. His relatability and communication skills are next level. It was legendary debate performance from Bigly Vance. When you look on the other hand, mm, Tim Wall was there calling Taylor Swift. Oh, Taylor Swift has endorsed me. Oh, Dick Cheney. Look at this. When I heard calling out Taylor Swift's name, I was insane because. That is crazy. How can that benefit the country? What are you promising people if they vote for you? I think there was a clear lack of preparation and execution here I on think Walsh's he, part. I think actually it's the opposite. I think he had too much preparation. Maybe. Yeah. He had so many lines that he was clearly trying to say yeah. that he didn't listen and said when, when uh, J.D. Vance said one of the many, many things he um, really hit Kamala Harris on, not Tim Walls, but Kamala Harris, he didn't respond because he clearly had things in his mind. I think the lack of interviews that he has done with national media, with local media, it showed. He needed more reps. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I mean, uh, J.D. Vance is uh, much more uh, experienced at this, at public speaking, at defending himself, at pivoting. Yes, what troubles me sometimes when I look at the mainstream media is the fact that these people will always struggle to look for reason to say, oh, is that, is that lack of preparedness? But I'm glad that they acknowledge that hmm, the guy lost. He cannot debate J.D. Evans. What's into your head when you hear the name Kamala Harris? Liar. I can't tell what's true. And if you are over 18, please register to vote for something else that's very important for now. Look at this. She's only up by 15 points. Caught Taylor Swift. Comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. 